You've clicked the link that describes the big ideas behind action and expression. And so the best way for me to give you kind of big ideas, I think, is to tell you a story. And so this story is one that I actually experienced. This is Zach, Zach here. Um, and it was all around the time that I had a, struck up a pretty interesting conversation with my Uber driver. And so I was in a big city. I just actually um, had, a, this is where I was learning about UDL. And I just left the conference and was Ubering back to wherever it was I was staying. And um, you know, I'm the type of guy that it drives my wife crazy actually, but I'm the type of guy that likes to sit in the front seat, believe it or not, when I'm Ubering and just, you know, spark up a conversation with my driver and, and, and why not? You know, you're, you don't know where you're the city and you don't know the driver. So have a good conversation. So, uh, I did that and we started talking and, um, he asked me why I was there. I said that, you know, I'm learning about this concept, this, you know, thing called universal design for learning. And then he, you know, cause he's a good Uber driver, five star uber driver asked me well what is that and i described what universal design for learning was it's like this great way to teach where you give options for how concepts get taught and then you engage kids in different ways and then you give kids like options and how they show what they know or how they strategize and use tools and at that point like he started to get really interested like more interested than an uber driver should get interested and so i was like okay well i'll keep answering questions or keep uh carrying on with the conversation and he was like, so like if I wanted to sing my answer, or if I wanted to speak my answer, or if I wanted to um, draw like my answer, as long as it worked with whatever it was I was being taught, like I could do that. And I was like, yeah, you're like you got it. That's that's how this whole thing works is you uh, uh, you teach different concepts and then you um, give kids options and how they show you their understanding. And then that point, like the conversation changed and it was like a markedly kind of strange change where you know, he got really quiet and he, you know, like when I was like, whoa, this isn't, this is definitely going deeper than an Uber driver conversation probably should, but I just went with it. And he's like, I think that would have changed things for me. And I looked at him and I said, well, like how, like, tell me more. And he said, well, I love history. I actually went to college um, so that I could become a history teacher. And uh, uh, like, I love all the facts of history. I love all the characters of history. I love tracing events and seeing how events are related to each other and how history repeats itself. But when I went to college to get my credentials and to get my degree, I couldn't keep up with the writing and the writing portion and writing all about history and having that be the only way I could express my understanding of these different historical facts eventually led to me uh, uh, having to drop out of um, the college that I was in altogether. And so, um, and, and so he's like, I think, and this was a true story. He said, I think if I would have learned in a space that gave me options, I think I'd still be, learning and teaching, or he said, I think I'd be a history teacher. And so he said, I really am interested, or I like this kind of concept. And so I, I thought it was a super powerful story. I was sitting there enjoying my Uber drive and then suddenly things shifted. And then I realized I was enjoying my Uber drive even more because um, it was a real moment. And this story helps reinforce the power of providing kids with options. Now, the options don't always have to be in the form of product. The options can be in the form of how they strategize or how they use different tools or how they come up with their own solutions, but still giving learners options so that they can develop and make meaning to show their understanding is all of what providing action expression is all about. And I don't know about you, but anybody that says they love a concept, they, they love teaching something or they love uh, a, a specific area of uh, of instruction is somebody that I want to hear more from, or at least I want to, uh, I want to entertain, uh, to think about as a great teacher. And so with our learners, it's important to think through like, is, what are the barriers? And if the barriers are the way in which we're asking them to show us, can we give them a different option that allows them to still express all of their incredible knowledge? That's the big idea behind providing learners multiple means of action and expression. Hope you enjoyed my little Uber story. Thank you.